Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm Aiden Kramer with the Law Office of Aiden H. Kramer in Colorado, and you're watching All Up In Your Business. I don't know why. Anyway, in this episode of All Up In Your Business, I'm going to talk about something that comes up uh, quite often with clients of mine, and that is whether or not to put an investment property into an LLC. So I'm going to talk about a few of the reasons why you would want to do that and some of the pros and cons and things that you have to consider if you're thinking about putting an investment property into an LLC. So as you hopefully know by now from watching any of my other videos about LLCs, the purpose for having an LLC or a limited liability company is to insulate the personal assets of the business owner from the debts and liabilities of the LLC. If the LLC is run properly, then only the assets of the LLC are going to be subject to the debts and liabilities of the LLC, and the personal assets of the business owner are going to be protected. Let's pretend you have a property and you want to rent it out to some people and hold on to it for a while as an investment. If somebody gets hurt on the property or if there's some sort of damage to somebody else on the property, then that person is going to probably try to sue you to recover for any of those damages or costs associated with that injury. Now, if this investment property is not held in an LLC, then that person is probably going to try to sue you personally to recover. However, if that pro property is in an LLC, then the person will only really be able to sue the LLC and will only be able to recover from the assets of the LLC and you personally as the property owner are protected. So in a nutshell, that's really the best reason to put an investment property into an LLC. If you only have one investment property, then it's pretty easy. You just create the LLC as you're supposed to and you put the property into the LLC and you're hopefully going to be protected. If you have more than one property though, there are a few different ways you can handle it. Now, as I'm sure you guys know by now, I uh, really love to use good quality high-tech graphics to explain things in my videos. And this one is no different. So I've solicited the help of my very expensive, knowledgeable, uh, fantastic graphics department to help me explain different ways that you can handle protecting yourself when you have multiple investment properties. And here we go. So as you can see here, we have an investor. She owns three different properties. And in this instance, she's put all of them into one LLC. Now, if there's a lawsuit regarding any of these properties, all of the assets in the LLC are going to be subject to the liabilities of that LLC. So that means all three properties will be subject to any liabilities of any of the other properties. So if somebody slips and falls on property one, properties two and three might be subject to being a part of that lawsuit and could potentially be lost in that lawsuit. This investor, on the other hand, has three different properties and has put each property into its own separate LLC. So what this does is it insulates each separate property from the others. So if there's a lawsuit over property one in LLC A, Properties two and three, because they're in their own separate LLCs, are safe from that liability of property one, as is the investor and her personal asset. So really, the best practice is to have each investment property in its own separate LLC. That way, each one's protected from the others, and you're protected personally as well. So while it's easy enough to set up and maintain an LLC in most instances, it's very important to remember, and this is very, very important, and a lot of people don't think about this because they don't consider really these investment or rental properties to be businesses, but they are, especially if they're in LLCs. Just because it's a house in an LLC, the LLC is still a business. And as I've discussed multiple times in various videos, it's so important to make sure you run your LLC correctly, otherwise you could still be subject to personal liability if a court decides to pierce the corporate veil and get to your personal assets. So that means that each LLC 
needs operating agreement and a separate bank account when you get rent payments or any payments through one of those properties it has to go into that bank account for that llc and then you can pay yourself and now those assets need to be used to maintain that property that's owned by the llc one thing that i see so often that it's mind-blowing is that people very very often forget that the LLC has to actually own the property. You can't just set up an LLC and then own this property in your own name or let's say jointly with your spouse and hope that the LLC is going to somehow protect you and this property. Only the assets of the LLC are going to be protected by that limited liability. So that means you have to actually transfer ownership of the property to the LLC. Then you as the business owner own the LLC which owns the property. So typically this would be accomplished by filing either a quick claim deed or a general warranty deed, of a deed of some kind deeding the property from you personally to this LLC. Or when you purchase the property in the first place, you purchase it in the name of the LLC. You may, however, have an issue with your lender. Many lenders put clauses in their agreements that have due on sale clauses. So if you own the property personally and you transfer it to the LLC, that could trigger that due on sale clause and the lender could call the note and make the entire balance of the mortgage due right away. And some lenders are also hesitant to lend to LLCs. So if this is something you're thinking about, it's important to have this conversation with your lender and see what kind of trouble you could get in. But as as long as you cover all of that with your lender and you make sure you run your LLC the way you're supposed to, like it's a real business, then putting an investment property in an LLC is generally a great way to protect yourself personally from the liabilities of that investment property. If this is something you're thinking about doing, it's very important to make sure you work with an attorney and probably an accountant to make sure you're doing everything right and to make sure you're protecting yourself the best way you can. If anyone has any general questions about that, go ahead and comment them below. If you want to speak with me personally about your specific circumstances and you're in Colorado, go ahead and contact me. My phone number and email are below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'm Aiden Kramer and I'll see you next time.